welcome back guys to another video of coding cleverly so as a lot of topics have been covered out i forgot to add some interesting topics before the start of the object oriented programming paradigm in today's video i will try to cover some of them out and if you feel like there's a topic worth mentioning or understanding then all you got to do is let me know in the comment sections below and i'll try to read your comments and hopefully we'll try to make some progress forward declaration is a very basic and easy to understand concept so when we were discussing about how to create functions that were like snippets of code that could be reused over and over again. Um, if you haven't watched my functions video, you could see a card on the top right corner where I discussed about functions and all of that. So watch that video before entering this one. So in this one, I would uh, tell you there are different methods. And one of the methods that to define and declare a function is forward declaration. So here, Instead of declaring and defining the whole function on the top of the main logic, you can declare it on the top and define it on the bottom. That's what you call forward declaration. So what this is, is that uh, we tend to basically introduce this concept after uh, doing the basic function declaration where we have the signature, the prototype defined, we define it and then we just do it like that. But there's another way in which you just give your declaration on the top of the main logic and give the necessary definition on the bottom. And now let's go on the implementation part for this. So here's a very simple example of how I illustrated the use of default arguments in functions. So we're going to use this exact function, but we're going to use the concept of forward declaration into it. So instead of defining it here before the main logic, I would what what I would do is basically cut this piece of code and I would paste it here. And also I would have this part copied and what I would do, I would put this on the top and you could see a declaration over here at the bottom, I would put a semicolon. So here is called the declaration. I would write in comments, I would say the signature also known as the prototype and also known as the function declaration. And over here at the bottom, this is the function definition, also known as the implementation. So this is the implementation part, and this is the prototype. Now let's see if this works. Uh, I would execute, compile, and run. Now you can see I have an error. It says default argument given for parameter three of int add, and then you can see four int data types f permissive i would have to delete the values that i specified for default arguments and i covered this topic in the previous video you could see a card on the top right corner to watch that video of what how i use default arguments and what i did is now i deleted the assign assignment to them and over here instead i have them assigned which were 10 and 30, 20 and over here, I just gave values to A and B instead of giving values to C and D, how default arguments work. And my answer is supposed to be 60 because I have 10, 20 here and I have 10, 20 here. So I deleted the, the initializations through int C and int D through in my function definition. And now I would save and execute this and I hopefully will have it compiled and running successfully. I have a 60 answer here and this means my, my forward declaration worked, my default arguments worked and also my program worked. So that was it with this video. I hope you understood this concept of forward declaration and also default arguments.